Joyce and Steve, people who support removing the dams say the health of salmon and orcas are at stake. Opponents say keeping the dams provides a source of clean energy that is critical. Today, the Salmon Orca Project, made up of tribal members and advocates from Washington State, Oregon and Idaho, met with federal officials. They also held a series of speeches, songs and dances to call on Congress to act to remove the dams, which are operated by the Army Corps of Engineers. Supporters say removing the dams and restoring the river would increase steelhead, lamprey and salmon returns, in turn helping southern resident orcas survive. But groups such as Northwest River Partners, which represents community owned electric utilities and some clean energy, transportation and agricultural agencies don't believe data shows removing the dams would necessarily recover salmon and they say the hydropower produced is essential to fighting climate change. Removal advocates are holding firm. We're trying to get our message out that you know that this has been an ongoing problem for the last 30 years and that that we feel that you know that we cannot waste any more time that action needs to be taken now. So we're hopeful that you know, this Congress, the Senate and the House will you know, hear our concerns and take action because we, we can't delay any longer. This week, the Biden administration announced two new reports about the dams. One assessed how removing them could restore salmon populations. The other explored alternatives for producing the power generated by those dams. They stopped short of making a recommendation, but have signaled interest in taking some type of long-term action in the area. Steve.